Hey folks, Dark Sigma here. Welcome back to Landstalker. We're just about to wrap up with the town of Ryuma, at least for now. <laughs> we cleared out the thieves' den, rescued the mayor, and got something called what the heck was it called a good conduct pass. Or, you know, well, yeah, let's just leave. Who needs that stuff? <laughs> although, although, yeah, this shop was closed before because this dude right here was trapped in the mines or the cave or whatever the hell it was, the den. The thieves had kidnapped him, but now that he's back in business, he's got a life stock. And hey, I can afford it! Oh, I'm buying that. Oh yeah. I always buy life stock whenever I can. Because life stock is good. An extra hit point is a very good thing to have. Hey, what do you want? Why did I go without you? I don't know. Maybe I'll jump on your head for a while to make up for it. Ooh, that'll never get old. <laughs> but yeah, so... We probably want to go to Mercator next, because we got a pass that's going to apparently allow us to get into the town. But before we go there, there's actually one side quest I'd like to do first. I don't know if we're even supposed to do it now or not, but no, I think we are. Because do you remember Pockets the Thief? He mentioned something about trees being a treasure hunter's best friend or some such nonsense. Well, him simply saying that has unlocked another dungeon we can do. And it's one that you you don't have to do it to beat the game, at least I don't think. But we definitely want to do it, because it's it's a good thing to do, and you'll see why. But yeah, remember this big tree back here? And then this even bigger tree? And the tree was, like, talking, it said, like, murr, murr, or something. Well, now it's going to say something a little different. Oh my goodness, it's got a mouth and eyes, and he's groaning. And his name is Tybor, and there's something running around inside his body. Oh, crap. That can't possibly be good. And now we get to meet for the first time these frickin' ghost generators, which are the most annoying things ever. You can't be defensive with them, you have to be offensive, because they keep constantly producing ghosts at just a steady rate. So if you just stand there killing the ghosts over and over again, you won't make any progress. You have to march towards them, even if it means taking a hit. And the worst thing about them, besides the fact that there's like frickin' infinitely many of them, is that they don't even give you any gold when you beat them. They're just an annoying nuisance. Ugh, I hate them. They're kind of like the ghosts from the original Gauntlet game. There's just friggin' infinitely many of the bastards. And they drain your HP if you let them touch you. And then they eventually will go away after they've sucked enough of your HP, but... Uh, God, I hate these frickin' things. But yeah, no wonder this no wonder this tree is complaining. He's got friggin' ghosts running around inside him. He's got moving platforms running around inside him. He has a dungeon in his body! No wonder he's in pain. I'd be in pain, too, if I had a dungeon in my body. At least I think I would. Maybe, I don't know. 20 golds and Statue of Gaia. Cool. I'll take it. See, he just drained some HP and vanished. Sometimes they'll stay around for longer. It seems to be random. Close in. Good, 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 good. Sometimes the ghost will reproduce so fast that it's the slash of your sword will kill the ghost before it does any damage to the generator, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that switch yet. You've got to get rid of these ghosts first. See, that switch is going to make that thing come down, but if there were ghosts in the way, you wouldn't have a chance, because, yep, it's a timed thing. And I like to jump towards this thing, too, because sometimes if time's running out, so it doesn't just teleport back up, it moves back up slowly, so if you're jumping as you go towards it, you might make it. Oh, and this. Yeah. Oops, I fell. Big deal. I wanted to fall, actually. Now, there's a certain way you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to, after I hit this switch, you're supposed to take that elevator and go around and come back up. But you know what? Let's just take a small bit of damage just to save a lot of time. In fact, it's going to cost me a life, probably. But it's worth it. It saves a heck of a lot of time, because you would have had to go up and around and... Ah. And here's a little isometric fuck. So you, you just kind of get a feel for it. It's hard to explain. You really do get a feel for it, like, 99% of the time. And that switch that I hit when I had to go around and damage myself again... Well, there were two switches on that map. One of them made this block get out of the way, and the other one made a block get out of the way that was blocking the door. I don't know which was which. Hmm. Oh well. Ghosts! Is there a generator? Yes, there's a generator. Oh, jeez. Stop generating! You are annoying! Ah, <sighs> jeez. At least the generator itself gives you some gold. 
Actually seems to give you a pretty decent amount. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh-oh, one-way jump. Oh, snap, he's big. He's the boss. Someone, he killed me! Oh, impressive. Well, not really. <laughs> so he's a more powerful version of this big fuck you dude. He can actually jump and swing his sword at you, and he's still a pushover, but he's a little less of a pushover. Hmm, no more pain, yes. Even though you've got treasure chests and carpets and spiked balls inside your body. So anyway, he's, what he's talking about is those, these trees that we encounter on the map, you know, where you go into the tree and it makes all the weird music, like beep, 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 boom, boom, boom. Well, those are kind of like waypoints or teleporters or something. Each of them is has is connected like in a pair with another one, and you can teleport back and forth between them as long as you've been to both of them. So you can't use it to get to some place you've never been before. Wow! Look, at, we really went through all that. Wow, it didn't feel that long. <laughs> Jeez. So what do you have to say now? Anything? Yes, your children are helpful to me, I guess. Well, I haven't used them yet, but I'm about to use one right now. Let's see if this one goes anywhere. No? Hmm, okay, whatever. Guess that just means I haven't been to the uh, the twist partner yet. So, where shall we head to now? Town of Mercator, this way. Okie dokie. I think that tree actually links to the tree outside of Mercator that we'll be getting to pretty soon. Well, maybe, anyway. Uh, I hate these snake dudes. Eventually you'll meet pallet swap versions of them that can poison you! And one thing that that reopens shop back in Ryuma cells is, like, a detox herb or something, because poison does suck. Drains your HP constantly. But these big ogres don't suck because you can just kill them and it's all awesome. What's up here? Ooh, is that the, is that the kind of swamp that does damage to you? Okay, yes it is. <laughs> That's a good way to find out, right? Wow! Uh-oh. A block? Hmm. Can I bring this with me? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Why is there a pot down there? I don't trust that. Oops, I see what I gotta do. I see what I gotta do. I need this pot to make the jump. Like what the hell? There. That should take care of it. Where am I going, anyway? Is Mercator this way? This seems like a rather narrow path. Okay, I actually know Mercator isn't this way, but... It's someplace interesting. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. When one thing's on top of another, it doesn't... You don't move with it. It's weird. Ooh, a house. Ooh, and a dog with a name! Marty! That's interesting. Why does that dog have a name? Usually, useless NPCs like dogs are just called Star. Good afternoon. Make yourself at home. Weird music in a cauldron. Hmm. Not much else to nothing to do here. I'm just a weird witch. Hmm. Okay, well that was beautifully pointless. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back here someday. Maybe. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course we'll come back here. And the fact that that dog actually had a name? Pretty darn important. Whoa, I'm gonna die! <laughs> That's what that block. Oh, there's a block over there too, so I could have used those to for the uh, whatever. And there's ghosts, and who cares? And now we're back on the road to Mercator. Yes, indeed. Hey, big ogre dude. Die, 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 die. How far is it to Mercator? Do I have time to get there? I've got about a minute. Whoa! Now we've got red slimes. They're even more aggressive and more powerful. And give you more gold. And I'm just running past everything. I don't really need money right now. I'll need it. I'll need it pretty soon. But if I really am itching for money, I can always grind for it off camera. Ooh, the gates of the town of Mercator, and here's a tree. And well, I'll be damned. <laughs> oh well. I guess I haven't gotten that tree's mate yet either. That's weird. Oh well. Hey, let's see if we can get into Mercator. Whoa! You can come in now, but... Oh man, they want a bribe. We need a new pair of shoes. Well, fuck you, I don't have 200 gold, so I'm gonna say no to this obvious but thou must question. See? <laughs> you don't need to pay to get in. 
See, if you said yes, you would have cheerfully given him the money. But you don't have to. <laughs> oh, yes, it pays to be cheap. Well, we've arrived at the big city of Mercator, and this looks like as good a place as any to stop. So, this is Doc Sigma signing off for now. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Landstalker. Cheers!